pitcher Ron Darling squared off against St. John's pitcher Frank Viola. The two went on to have successful major league careers, but it was that afternoon at Yale Field that both remember fondly. Eric Dobretz has more on what some consider the greatest college baseball game ever played. 49 years of baseball, from 9 years old when I put my first uniform on until right now, it's still one of the top three, if not the best pitch game I've ever seen. And it wasn't me, it was Ronnie. If you were at Yale Field on that sunny May day, you witnessed one of the greatest games ever played in our state. It was an NCAA Northeast Region Tournament game. Yale's pitcher Ron Darling, the future Met star, battling St. John's pitcher Frank Viola. The scoreboard littered with nothing but zeros for 11 innings. Darling had not allowed a hit. I think I knew after the third or fourth inning, and it wasn't because I hadn't given up any hits. It was just that um, my stuff that played uh, well against Brown or Harvard or Columbia or Princeton played just as well against St. John's, so uh, it gave me confidence. And why wouldn't he be confident? His pitching career at Yale, impressive. In college, my college career, I had great stuff every day. Um, I started 28 times for Yale. I finished 28 games. Um, never got taken out of a game. So um, I always expected to pitch well in college. The box score from that day shows just how dominating Darling was. 16 strikeouts. But it was the leadoff hitter in the 12th inning that ruined his day. Steve Scaffa uh, led off, and he got a base hit to left field. I've met him a couple of times, and he always reminds me that he had the base hit. I always tell him he doesn't have to. I will remember that forever. The greatest thing about after the no-hitter was done is that the entire St. John's team, uh, shows how classy they are, uh, stood up on the top step of the dugout and gave me a standing O. And uh, I'll never forget that. After the hit, Scaffa would steal second and third, and then home on the back end of a double steal for the only run of the game. You know, it was uh, it was bittersweet because they broke up the no hitter, which was great. But you have to tip your hat to Frank Viola, who matched me pitch for pitch. Viola, now a pitching coach in the Mets minor league system, pitched 11 shutout innings for the win. But it was a day that I'll never forget. You know, and. Uh, and Ron Darling will never forget. You know, two guys we'd never met before pitching a college game. That uh, it was a thousand people there, but around twenty-five thousand said they were at the game. So it's, it's a pretty pretty special moment when you're able to accomplish something like that. And you know, to be able to have the careers we had on top of that, and be teammates together with the Mets, and go through the rides we went through, it's pretty special times. And Darling actually came to Yale to play football, but decided uh, baseball was his thing. He focused on that after his freshman year. Carm Koza, the late Carm Koza, said he would have been a great football player if he decided to play football wow. as well. Yeah. I know all of us were at the game, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It was unbelievable. 28 complete games? That's the most amazing thing. 28 oh starts, 28 goodness. complete games That's in his career. That, that was just video gold right there. That, Eric that was great. Yeah, that, that was, was great. great. We love when Old Mystic Village comes on CC style. But have you? love wrapping the shops. And I love all the amazing restaurants. And I love strolling around. The events are great.
Go to oldmysticvillage.com. Learn how you can shop, dine, and stroll.